boy. Here we go. Let me see what we've got here today. And I still got my uh, cranberry concentrate along with my pomegranate concentrate. And uh, with a diet, what I do is I put a little pomegranate concentrate in there. Pomegranate is good for your um, blood pressure. Then again, you know, they say everything's good for blood pressure and cancer. So it's kind of interesting. Cranberry juice just cleans you out. Man, I was just talking to my friend, walking over here, and uh, I talked to him on the phone. He's in Atlanta. And um, it's kind of interesting because he started to do a lot of fruit in the morning. So his bowels are going like, he's, he's always got sick with it. Hey, you know, when you do, you I keep on telling you, I've got to do it radically. You can't do it radically. you got to do it, you know, a little bit. You, do, you can't. <laughs> anyway, you should be flushing a lot, you know. And since, since meat meat is going to be off the shelves pretty soon, that was a good time to, you know, go test out on your veggies and your fruits and your nuts and stuff like that. Hey, look what I got here. White cran peach. What are they doing with these things? White cran. White cran. Is that man, cranberry is white? Aren't they usually red? Oh, well. Wow. And then the, the, the peach. Boy, are we in a pickle in a peach world. We're not in a peach right now. We're in a pickle with this whole... Actually, it's a good thing for some people. Well, some people, not a whole lot of people. Because people are starting to clean out their closets and stuff like that. You know, getting rid of waste thing. Getting rid of waste friends that are not really friends. Stuff like that. You see who's whatever, whatever, you see? Hmm. Not bad. Uh, but I have another problem. I have bought, bought through through Amazon, you know, the, the essential workers. I bought a, a, a Moto G for my brother because he had, you know, he's homeless. Well, he was at the bed. Anyway, he went to sleep. Anyway, they stole his phone, right? Before he was in the hospital. Then then they distracted from the hospital. He's supposed to go to this other place for like two weeks quarantine. And I call the other place. He's not there. And I got to keep on trying to run him down. Anyway, trying to get him a phone because he doesn't have a phone now. So I bought him a phone. I got to get it to him. So this, that's my thing for today but talk about getting things to getting things to people I, I know you all think oh after they after they tell us we're on quarantine we can run around and do what we want to do well you can you know if you got a good immune system then you could be like those poor people somebody was telling me that in Central Park people are there frolicking in Central Park they don't care about no social distancing and stuff like that which well hey my whole thing is like you know Strong immune system will fight off anything. So I got a strong immune system, so I'm not worried about that. But there's going to be a problem, not with the immune system, not with anything. There's going to be a problem with supply lines. Because think of it, I was just someplace. Well, we'll deal with, we'll deal with meat. No, nah, I won't deal with meat. Forget me. You'll, you'll eat meat if you want. There ain't going to be enough left. There ain't going to be no meat left. But here's the thing. Other things, I mean, like beets, or onions, or whatever, the carrots, or whatever have you, Eventually, the problem is not with growing the stuff because, like, like right now in South Africa, even my, my backyard, we grow all kinds of stuff. But the problem is, how do you get what you're growing to the supply chain, which will get it to the distribution people, you know, which will get it to your to your shelf in your neighborhood, whatever. There's the problem. You know, trucks ain't moving, which means the supply chain is, t t t t t even if it opens up, what's going to happen? It's going to be some some weird thing that's going to happen. So unless you're growing your own food, the, and plus, oh, here's the other thing. They want the economy back. The they who want the economy back are the rich people, because those people who have the, your, your, your shareholders or whatever, those are the ones that had to put that high money risk and trying to get all that money back, whatever have you. But without the economy moving, that money, that Ponzi scheme is not working. Therefore, there you go. Problems. Well, all I got to say is, I hope you're in a good spot, because if you ain't, things are, things are about to get really... Really, shall we use that word? Interesting, you know, if you want, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna help any, because once those supply chains get get cut, you can't get them truck moving, you get bottlenecks or whatever have you, you're done. Society is done. This whole thing is going. It's this is it's such an interesting thing to be an, an observer in these times, which is what I am. I being me, T from the Patterson Secondary Trains to Japan. Then you know what I only suspect: this pandemic 
here in a reality, a ADOS reality. Hey, talk to people. Hey, stay in touch with people. Talk to people. Stay in touch with people. That should be a mantra. Talk to you soon.